Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in our previous lesson, we started by looking at initialization parameter files. In today's lesson, I want us to look at a few examples of how you can query your initialization parameter files um, and then how you can modify them. Okay. Now, remember when we talked about how to modify them, we said we can, you can modify your files in three levels. Okay, you can modify them at the system level, at the session level, and at the PDB level. Okay, so I have a few query on my SQL developer, and then I want to start by executing the first one. It says select name value from V dollar sign parameter order by name. Okay, so this query will actually show you all the initialization parameters um, you have on your container database okay if you have your pluggable database is open as well you will have them listed in this query okay so let me start by executing this and let's see the result wow so these are your initialization parameters now if you right click and say count rows you have about 445 rows okay now this is because um, my pluggable databases are not up and running so it's, it's showing me the parameters for just the current container which is the root container now the question you might want to ask me is should i worry myself to know all of these parameters the answer is very simple no even the expert database administrator do not know all of these parameters as a matter of fact oracle recommends that you leave the parameters at their default values okay however if you know how to alter these parameters without causing any issues to the database then by all means go ahead and modify them to suit the performance you expect of your database okay now let me quickly clear this and then let's look at the second query now if you look at the second query it says select name value is session underscore modifiable is system underscore modifiable is pdb underscore modifiable from v dollar sign parameter where name is equal to nls underscore date underscore format this is an initialization parameter and then we want to query to know if we can modify it at the session level or we can modify it at the system level or we can modify it at the PDB level. Okay, so I'll execute this query. Now, you can look at the name of the parameter now and then if you look at the column for is session modifiable is showing true it means yes we can actually modify it for the current session now if you look at is system modifiable it says false now the false here does not mean that you cannot modify it at the system level okay what it means is that if you use the alter system command you will have to restart the database for the changes to take effect. Okay, this is what it means. And then if you look at this column, is PDB modifiable? It says true. It means yes, you can also modify it on the PDB level. Okay, so um, this is just to show you how to know if you can modify your initialization parameter either at the system level, at the session level, or at the pluggable database level, okay? So let's look at another example now. We say select sysdate from dual. I'm going to execute this. You can see the system date today is um, 10th of December, 2022, okay? Now I want to alter the session to change the date format, okay? Uh, let me just quickly clear this and then execute the scope. Um, alter session statement so i'm altering this parameter for just the current session okay so it says alter session set nls underscore date underscore format to ddmmyy okay 
execute and it says session altered. So if I do this again, you can see that the value has changed. However, when we ran the query the first time, for this value, you actually did not see anything. It was showing false, okay? So this means that I've actually been able to alter this parameter for the current session. Now, the amazing thing is, while this session lasts, this is the date format I will actually see, okay? And every other session will not see this date format. They will still see the previous date format. And then once I log off and then log in again, I will not see this particular date format. What I will see is the previous one. Now, this is because I altered the parameter just for the current session. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.